Hey guys, my name is JK Denim and today I'm gonna show you how to make a narwhal cake. Wait, hold up. You've only heard of the chicken of the sea? Yo, let me show you the unicorn of the sea. I love the way this cake turned out, especially because I made a huge mistake, but you can't even see it. This looks adorable, so let's get started. To create this cake, I'm using three six inch round cakes and one six inch half dome cake. And I'm just using three different box cake mixes. I decided to go with a Neapolitan flavor combination. Now after I finished leveling off all of my cakes, I started to stack them. Starting with the chocolate cake, I added some buttercream into the middle. And this is just a super simple buttercream recipe, which is one cup butter and two cups of powdered sugar. I added it on with a pastry bag and then smoothened it out with an offset spatula. On went my strawberry layer. And then I just repeated that process with my vanilla cake and then my half dome chocolate cake. When I was younger, I didn't know it was called Neapolitan ice cream. I thought it was called Napoleon ice cream. So every time I would order it, I would think of like Napoleon Bonaparte just sitting on this majestic stallion eating this giant Neapolitan or Napoleon ice cream sandwich. I just couldn't believe that me and this very short man from like a million years ago liked the very same ice cream and he named they named it after him. Now I removed some of the caramelization from my dome cake and then I just started to shift my layers. I didn't want this to be like straight up and down. I wanted this to look like the whale was coming out of the ocean at an angle. Be careful because if you shift this too much, they could fall over. So only slightly did I shift the layers. Now with a pastry bag, I added some buttercream and gave this cake a crumb coat with my offset spatula. I placed this into the fridge to chill and while it was chilling, I was Netflix and chilling and I was watching 50 First Dates. I love 50 First Dates because I love the setting of Hawaii and I love that they're cooking Spam in the cafe. You guys, Spam was my life when I was little. I'm curious, what is your favorite Adam Sandler movie? Let me know in the comments below. Now after my cake was chill, I took it out of the fridge and just started to carve away at it. I just increased the curve on my narwhal's back because a narwhal, it's not like coming out of the water like this, you know, it's coming out of the water like this, like, like that. <laughs> I wanted my narwhal to have this like big old head. So I just started to shave away at the bottom and give this kind of like a tapered look. So his head is big and just gets smaller and smaller as it gets down to his tail. And then I gave it a second coat of buttercream. This isn't a complete coat of buttercream, it's just a fix it coat, that's what I'm calling it. Just so I can fix away all the places where I shaved away too much or where there wasn't enough buttercream. You can totally give this a complete second coat of buttercream, but there's gonna be a fondant layer on top of this, and I consider that to be another layer of icing a moldable layer of icing. And I placed my cake back into the fridge for another hour and then I finished watching 50 First Dates. And I took my cake out of the fridge and I covered it in a very large piece of Baby Baloo fondant. Wait, what color is this? Oh, it's like a rushing stream. You get it? Because we're making a whale from the ocean, which is water as well. Now I worked my fondant all the way down the bottom of my cake. And then using my paring knife, I just carved away all of the excess fondant at the bottom. And I left like a tip of fondant at his back so that I could place his tail there. And this is where I made my mistake because I was so focused on making sure that the back looked nice that I didn't realize that all of the fondant had clumped right where his belly was. But I knew that that was okay because when I designed this, I made it so that his belly had like this white spot. So I could cover this up, no problem. I wanted to make sure that I could get this surface as flat as I could because it was very bumpy. So I mixed a little bit of fondant with some magic sauce and you can use water, but I use magic sauce. I say magic sauce instead of vodka because whenever I say vodka, in a video, I get a whole bunch of like emails about how this cake is unsuitable for children. <laughs> Everybody just thinks that there's just like a whole bunch of kids getting drunk off my cake. The alcohol in the vodka evaporates, so there's no actual alcohol in the cake. Now I cut some white fondant into a large 
half oval shape and I just glued that to the front of my cake with a little more magic sauce. It evaporates a lot faster than water which is why I always choose to use it. We should give this guy a name. What should his name be? What's the Elton John song that I like? Oh! Ba -ba 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 Benny. Oh, I like that song. Let's name him Benny. Now to create Benny's details, I rolled out some dark gray fondant. And I just cut out rounded shapes that were all like different sizes. So I could give him spots. Oh, it's like, it's like whale freckles. And I just had all of his spots traveling down his back. And using a cookie cutter and some black fondant, I gave him two eyes. And I wanted his eyes to look like they were sparkling more. I added some dark gray fondant to give his eyes more depth. And then I added four cat lights. Two large cat lights that I created with white fondant and then two smaller ones to go at the bottom. And then I gave him a mouth, which is basically a D shape with some red and pink fondant. And then I gave him like those two like really cute kawaii anime details. What are they actually? They're like, I don't know, but they make every like animal cuter when you add them. After I finished all of these details, I placed my cake into the fridge and I decided I was gonna finish it tomorrow, but I still had some work to do. I had to create some fins, so I rolled out some of my Rushing Stream Blue Fondant, Baby Blue Rushing Stream Fondant, and I rolled it out so that one side was thicker than the other, so the part of the fin that's attached to his body is thick, and the part that's away from his body is a lot thinner, so it gives it more stability so there isn't that much weight at the end. So I created a template of the fin, placed it on, and then cut it out using my pizza cutter. Now using my palms and my fingers, I just softened up all of the edges so that it looks more natural. And I wanted these fins to have like an illusion of motion. So instead of having them being placed like flat on a cake board, I took my half dome cake pan and I just leaned them and pressed them up against it so that they would dry with a curve in them. And then I added bends to the back flippers as well. Now it's time to create my unicorn horn. It's a narwhal horn, but this is how I create all of my unicorn horns. First thing I do is separate three pieces of fondant into equal amounts. And then I roll them into seven inch long cones. I stack them together on top of each other. And then I just twist the larger side to get my unicorn horn shape. Now if your fondant is a little dry, you can glue all three of these cones together with some magic sauce. Otherwise, it should stick perfectly. My friend tried to show me his method of making a unicorn horn, and it's just two like strands of fondant that are the same thickness all the way through, and he just twists it together. And it looked like, like the bottom part of a candy cane. No thank you. <laughs> Yo, I love you but no thanks. Now I swirled my cone onto a skewer. Once I finished all of my fondant work, I let it set overnight and then in the morning I finished my cake. And using two toothpicks and some magic sauce, I plunged the right arm into Benny's body. And because the left arm is resting on the cake board, I just added some magic sauce and just held it in place until it stuck to the cake. Now for his back fins, I cut out just a little bit of the back, just so I could fit in the left fin. And I just placed the right fin on the other side. Now this cake is almost done, we just need to add some water. The first thing I did was just take some white buttercream and just spread it out on the cake board with my offset spatula. Now once the entire board was covered, I added some blue buttercream on top of that. And then I just started to blend the colors slightly so that it would look like crashing waves. You know, cause you got like that white foam. Last but definitely not least, we add the horn. And voila, my unicorn of the whale. Nope. Hold on, I got it. Hold on. My unicorn of the sea. My narwhal cake was complete. Ba 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 Benny. I can't sing the rest of that song because it's copywritten. Yo, he looks so fresh. And you can't even see my mistake. Ugh. It's like a perfect way to hide a tummy tuck. Now I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for having me. Well done. Let me know in the comments what cakes you'd like to see me make next and I will see you very soon. Bye. Peace.